Hey, I'm former CIA officer Jason Hansen. I just finished exercising, which is a great time to do drills. So I want to show you a quick knife drill. Before I do, make sure you like, subscribe, and do all that jazz. But let's talk about the knife drill. Uh, so the knife drill I want to show you is incredibly simple. All it requires is that you have some paracord, you have some tape, a roll of tape, like Gorilla Tape is what I'm going to show you, and of course you need a knife. So I'm going to back up here so you can see my knife. For this drill, I like to carry in the appendix position, just like this. Obviously, you can carry a knife anywhere. Maybe it's you know on your hip at the three o'clock position. Maybe it's just clipped your pants pocket. It's not a fixed blade knife like here. But I'm actually going to bring you closer now because I want you to see what we've done here. This again, simple roll of tape. This is Gorilla Tape. Obviously, use whatever roll you want. I've hung it from my exercise machine, and I've hung the tape at a height which resembles either a man's throat or a man's face because this drill is for life and death situations only. So what is a drill? Well, it's super simple. You let it sit there, go wherever, and I'm gonna draw the knife, and I know you can't see me now, but I want you to see this, and you're gonna come out, and you can go overhand, meaning you can go the reverse grip, or you can do the normal grip. For people who don't train a lot, I recommend just doing the hammer grip, saber grip, AKA normal grip, that way when you come out, you're sitting here, and you can just jab out like that. Really doesn't matter. Do whatever you're comfortable with. There's some people who are gonna say, oh yeah, you have to do the reverse grip like a ninja. Oh no, you should. Again, it doesn't matter. All that matters is you save your life, you protect yourself, so use whatever grip you want. So when it comes to this drill here, and when you're doing this drill, if you're using a real blade, obviously take your time. Make sure you look down before you put that thing back, the way you don't cut anything important. Most important thing when doing these types of drills is to start slowly. Build that muscle memory. Meaning come out, I'm gonna go right in the center there. I'm gonna build that muscle memory. I'm gonna slowly come back in. I'm gonna visualize whatever it is I'm pretending this is my attacker. Meaning I'm gonna visualize this is a guy's eye, which again, we're talking about life and death scenarios, great place to strike, or throat, right in the trachea area, another great place. So I'm gonna come out here, boom, and just quick jab like that. Go slowly like I did several, several times and then go quick. So the first time you do it, don't come out and go like that, like you're some ninja. Meaning if you do this drill, let's say five minutes a day, I know most people aren't gonna do that, but let's say you do it every once in a while, start off very slow. Maybe do five of these where you're just coming out and just getting a feel for it. And after you've done five strikes, speed it up a little, a little, until you get faster and faster, until you're very comfortable and then you come out, boom, just like that in the center of it. Now. If you want to switch things up a bit, I'm going to grab my trainer here. I've got an aluminum trainer. So if you want to switch things up and you say, hey, I want to actually stab something or hit something. I just don't want to go through the center here. Well, I like to use the background of this. And so I like to assume or pretend that this is a, you know, a man's chest or whatever. So again, I'll put it in my sheet. Something goes wrong and come out pop. I can come out pop. So with here, I can touch it, obviously, because this is an aluminum trainer. doesn't have a blunt end. I'm not gonna end up stabbing or putting holes in my exercise equipment. So another thing you can do is get on the internet, print off a picture of somebody's face, somebody you don't like. Print off a face. You can do a sil, if you do an internet search for silhouette of a man's face or whatever, print it off. You can tape it to your wall and when you're coming out on your wall, you can come out and jab quick just like that. Obviously use a trainer, not a real knife. You don't wanna end up stabbing your wall. Most important thing is really to practice however you carry your knife. Because I like to carry in the appendix position here, I'm coming out, I'm practicing, just going right that, either the face or the throat, because that I, will know, I know that will stop the attacker, that'll give me an opportunity to escape, which is of course what I wanna do. I wanna be able to go home to my wife and kids. So if you carry a knife, if you're a knife junkie that I am, practice this simple drill. You'll get good enough that you can start coming out and hitting it in the center every time. And then of course, if you wanna be a real ninja, then you can do that stuff. Now with this one, the goal is aim small, miss small. You're familiar with that phrase. So when it's going crazy, you just wanna come out and you wanna hit, you wanna hit the piece of tape. So obviously you're aiming for that circle, but incredibly difficult when it's going every which way and sometimes not even facing you, maybe it's like that. But if you can hit the tape, aim small, miss small, the way if you have to come out quickly and you're aiming for a guy's eye or throat, if you barely miss, you're still gonna do some damage. You're still gonna make sure that you're causing them harm, that way they don't cause you harm, and you get to go home at night. So that is the end of the knife drill. Grab a fixed blade, grab a, grab a trainer. If you wanna know an awesome fixed blade, make sure and go to berserkerblade.com. I always screw up saying that word, berserkerblade.com. You'll see an amazing fixed blade. Again, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on that ring notification bell. 
I am former CIA officer Jason Hansen. I'm a knife junkie and have a wonderful rest of the day.